Welcome everyone to Trade with Rob, brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com. This update is for Tuesday, the 19th of September, 2023. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope it was a good trading day for you. As we do get started, keep in mind that everything we look at is for educational purposes. Nothing's meant to be advice or recommendations. If you like what you see, something, anything, make sure it fits your own personal risk profile and risk tolerance before ever taking on that trade, that setup, or that indicator. All right, so... Let's go ahead and jump right in. I want to start off first with uh, Caterpillar, CAT, okay? It's the very first one. Market just closed. It's about three minutes now and the market is closed up. So let's dive in and take a look-see. So we have had a bit of a little sideways move going on in the last couple of days on Caterpillar. I would like a little bit more momentum behind it, but it's not a bad setup. We're confluence of both the 8 and the 21 at the 279.11. Uh, let's see what we've got here. 79, 89, 91, 293. Okay, so we need to split this level in half. So I need a fibbit in there. So I'm going to need a negative 136 and a 118. There's a negative 136 and a 118. Perfect. All right. So come back and retest the 279 and bounce. We're looking at 286 on the upside as resistance, 286 and a half. So right about 285, 285 and a half is going to be our target. If we break to the downside, fail, retest the 279 and drop, we're looking at 270 as support, maybe 271, 71 and a half ish, somewhere around there is where we're going to look at a target. All right, so that's one and done. CSL is number two. Uh, let's see, CSL, uh, Carlisle. Okay, so. Also confluence of both the 8 and the 21 there. A little bit of a roadblock here with the 55. Let's see if we need to add a fibbit in there. 70 and 89 is 19. We do. So we're going to split this level in half. We're going to add the negative 136 and a 118. Can't see the negative 136. It's up higher, but I, if I need one, I need the other. <clears throat> All right. So if we get the bounce off that 269 half, we're looking at 279 half as resistance. So right about 278 ish will be our target. And you set the target based on your risk profile. If we fail, retest, and drop off the 269 and a half, we're looking at 257 is our support. All right. So maybe 258 and a half, 259, somewhere around there. And then last and not least is Goldman Sachs. This is a power option place candidate, one that we look at each and every week, numerous times a week. Uh, we had a nice uh, flood of motion movement today, up and down. Uh, 342.93 is the key level. What are we looking for? Push up, retest, bounce. We're looking for a move up to 350, right about 349, 48 and a half, somewhere around there. If we fail <clears throat> that 343 level, retest and drop, we're looking at 337, uh, 338, 38 and a half, somewhere around there will be our target. All right, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, go ahead over. Don't forget, I'll have, I have a link down below uh, to our, sorry about that. Uh, I have a link down below to our uh, tradinglikeaboss.com, which has all of our free resources on it. Take advantage of that, and I will see you all at our next update. Bye for now.